We beat a really good program. Just won a lot of games, and they're very, very well coached. They got great toughness about them, and we knew this wasn't going to be easy, and it wasn't. Um, but I'm so proud of our guys because, you know, we really struggled offensively to out of the shoot. And at times before, those of you who followed our team, sometimes that's gotten in the past, that's kind of gotten into our, our bloodstream and it's affected us on the other end of the court. But I thought defensively in that first half to hold them to 30 points and not have your best offense. I think we were, what, we were four for 16 in the first half from three. I mean, when we had some good looks, you know, normally I mean, every time, you know, Evan shoots it now, I think it's going in. And, uh, but, but we, we missed some shots, and, uh, but it didn't affect us on the other end, and we, we hung in there. And then, you know, the second half, we, we traded baskets with them. I mean, Joe Young was, or J Joe Young, it's a Freudian slip. Jacob Young, uh, his little brother, was, uh, was terrific tonight, and Gurrier was as well. But uh, we, we uh, found a way to uh, break it open and beat a good team, and now we live to see another day. Okay, we'll open up the questions. Evan, it seemed like you went right at and volleyed Dante from the tip. Uh, you know, they had a seven-man rotation tonight, and you took advantage of that. What were you seeing out there? Uh, just, I mean, it's a, it's a point. Uh, coach told me to be aggressive every night, and night in, night out. So uh, I knew that going in. And I just wanted to, um, you know, give my team, you know, a lift, you know, coming into the game and give them, my team some aggression. So, yeah. I would, I would say this, too, just to – Piggyback on Evan. Evan is a matchup nightmare now. The way he's shooting a three ball, he really is, and that that was uh, effective tonight with Dante on the pick and pops. Hi. Uh, at the end of the first, KJ, you had that huge dunk, and then Batty, you followed up with the layup and that three pointer, and then Luke O'Brien tied off the first with that three pointer. What was that energy? What was that momentum going into the second half, and how did that help you propel you into um, the second? And what was that sequence like? Okay. Well, um, we always stress, you know, finish half strong. Um, and that was just something we, we went into doing. Uh, we executed a play, especially for Luke. Uh, we executed that play to perfection, and Luke hit a wide open big shot. And that's just something we, we try to focus on, especially down the stress going into the second half. You want that momentum. You want that same energy that you just finished with. So that's what we try to focus on. Tad, at the, at the under 12 of the second half, uh, Tristan, Jabari, and Neek all had three fouls. What kind of challenges did that present as far as managing minutes for an already depleted bench? And how did you strategize just about kind of rolling with the punches on that one? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm comfortable playing the guys with three fouls. But man, when they get four, especially when if, if it's being called tight, which, you know, tonight's whistle was, you know, they let some things go. And sometimes it was called tight. So you just, um, that four, when you get four, you know, I try to wait for that last media timeout before we, we go in and finish the game. Just because I don't, a guy like Tristan is so important to us, both offensively and defensively, that you, you don't want to lose him with six, seven minutes to go in a game. So, yeah, it was foul trouble was a challenge for us tonight. Coach Rowan did a good job, and we, you know, collaborated at timeouts and, and, and that sort of thing. But we, we, we found a way, you know, to fight through that foul trouble and, and, uh, and finish it off. That in that same sequence, the one mismanagement, if any, by them after they had been jockeying their guys with foul trouble, Dana kept Dante in on the yep. third rather than take him, and that's two fouls in 27 seconds. Yep. And that knocked him out for five minutes. Yep. How pivotal did you feel that was in retrospect when they had been jockeying so well for, at that point, about 30 minutes? That yep. was their one mishap. That was big. And, and good. I'm, I'm going to credit our senior here to my right. Evan recognized that. And, you know, he came down in a, in a kind of a semi-break situation, and we swung it to him, you know, outside the three-point line. He saw Dante on him, and he just he took him to the rack and, and forced the issue. And, uh, again, we got a lot of fouls, you know, called on us guarding the ball tonight. That was a foul on him guarding the ball. So um, really a smart play by, by Evan in that situation, but it was, it was big. So you, we always want to put foul pressure on the other team, and I don't know how many – Free throws we shot tonight. We shot 19 free throws tonight, um, but uh, we only shot three in the first half. So, getting to the foul line, we're 77% free throw shooters from the foul line. So, getting there is a big part of our offense, and we did a better job of that in the second half. I, I will say this again, relative to the last game we played in Boulder, 
to your question, the way we finished the half was crucial because we didn't do that in Boulder. And they ended up with a one-point lead and kind of took the momentum in the second half. Uh, we finished the half tonight, like KJ said, and did a really good job. This is for Evan and Coach. Um, you guys know you're capable, but you also know you have a lot of work to do at this at this tournament to get into the big dance. Um, number one, uh, overcoming that slow start. I mean, you can't have magic if you if, if you bow out in the first half of a game. And number two, what kind of attitude do you take going forward? Uh, just you know, nice game. And you know, it's not. Um, you know, there's no. There's no forty. You know, forty uh, point plays that gonna. You know, make you win automatically. It's a possession by possession thing, and um, you know, just making the right play and living in the present. I think so. And, and, and Mar, I, we haven't talked one bit with this team about the NCAA tournament. It's about winning the next game, figuring out how do we improve from one game to the next. And and we know our situation. I'm not, you know, uh, uh, I'm a little disappointed finishing fourth, you know, uh, in a power five, five league. And we're not even in a conversation. But the only way you get there is to win the next game. That's what we got to do. So. Well, I, I think, quite frankly, I think there's a, a, a big bias with uh, East Coast and, and, quite frankly, ESPN. No, nobody, I mean, they're, they're talking about Virginia Tech. They got one quad one win. We got, we got three. They're, they're squarely on the bubble. <laughs> We're not in a conversation. So, yeah, I hope the committee is smarter than the, than the people that are putting that thing together. But, look, I, I can't sit here and pound the table for Colorado because we lost to Southern Illinois. We had, we had ten losses. You know, uh, but we have a young team. And if you look at the Colorado team today relative to where we were in November or December, if, if you don't think we're one of the top 68 teams in the country, you're sorely mistaken. Unbelievable, but uh, unbelievably better. You know, just um, the, the fact that we're playing together now, you know, playing for each other defensively and offensively, and uh, it shows in our assist numbers, it shows in the way the ball's moving, and it shows in the win column. So, I mean, I mean, I have, I have no worries to, the, uh, to that, but uh, I just say we've we gotten better. <laughs> Tad, uh, another low turnover game yeah. for your team today, and that's kind of been a, a mark of this, this streak not too long ago. This was a huge issue for your team. How have you been able to, to turn it around down the stretch on that front? You know, we, we talk about it, Pat. We, you know, we, we work on passing drills in, uh, in practice. Sometimes they're elementary. Coach, coach Ray is a really good basketball coach. Coach Greer is a really good basketball coach. So, so is Coach Roan. And sometimes they come up with drills that these guys think might be a little silly and you know, elementary. But they've, they've, they've really worked. and they've, they've helped us become better passers. I think, you know, having a freshman that grows up, that learns from his mistakes. And Keyshawn's been, he's been really good with his assist turnover ratio all year. But Julian and KJ, our young guards, have really gotten better. Jabari has gotten much, much better in taking care of the ball and, and, and being a playmaker. So I just think it's maturity and, and a young team growing up. And, and, uh, but you're right, our, our, I think we were 10, 9, and 8 is what Coach Greer told us after the game, our last three games in terms of our turnover. So uh, we can live with that. Tad, you're, you're, there was a play where Quincy had that, that floater that went down. They called it a charge. And then on the other end, you guys got a three-point play. Yeah. Just the significance of that for, for both your guys' team. For yeah, it was team. huge. It was, I mean, and, and KJ took the charge. And I was mad at him in the first half because he had an opportunity to take a charge on Young, and he didn't do it. And, but that was a critical point in the game. And it was, a, you know, by rule, they had to wave that thing off, by rule. You know, I, I was on the rules committee for four years. I, I'd like to see if that kid, the ball left his hands and it goes in, it should be good bucket but a foul on him because it was a charge. And he, he stepped in and took it. And, uh, but by rule, they had to wave it off. And I know that didn't make Dana very happy. Um, but we came down and hit a three. That was huge momentum. And, you know, I, I, I always feel like when you're ahead down the stretch, if you can get that thing to nine, <laughs> um, that's three, three possessions of three-pointers, so it just makes you feel. But we just have to keep getting stops because Oregon can make threes. They're an explosive offensive team. So, but that was a big, big play by KJ. 
Chad, this is the third time in the last four seasons you guys will be heading to the semifinals round. Last year you did it with six seniors. This year with Evan and, and a bunch of freshmen and sophomores. Just in your eyes, what has been key about your teams heating up at the right time and coming here and performing well in the, the, the conference well, tournament? You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I, I just Every team is different. Every uh, tournament is different. Um, obviously, you know, you look at the way Stanford played. I mean, and the, and the way they won yesterday and then they – they take Arizona the wire. I mean, it just, uh, I, I don't know why. I just know this is, this is a time of year that I really embrace and enjoy. And I know, I know this guy does, and, and, and these guys are learning. That this, is the, this is the best time of, I always say that Christmas break's the best time to be a college basketball player, but this is, this is even better because you, you get to play for something that means something. And, and we're playing for you know, a championship. In, in this tournament, and uh, we figured out how to way to get the semis, and now now we got to just figure out how to beat Arizona. And that's <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but we're going to fight. And coach, just real quick, right on that note, Arizona tomorrow. I'm sure uh, they'll have some not so fond memories of the last time you, yep. you guys met. I'll just get your your quick thoughts they're, on they're, that match. They'll they'll be ready to play the Buffs. They'll be emotionally ready. They'll be mentally ready. They'll be. They, they, you know, I know Tommy Lloyd. He's a competitive dude. They got competitive players, but we're going to be ready too, and uh, so it makes this time of year so fun. All right, we have two more over here, and then we're done. Evan, I know the win is the most important thing for you, but it's been a long time since you've had a double double. What's it mean for you to have it on this stage uh, at the end of your senior year here? I know you, Pat. I know you're going to point that out. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really care, honestly. Uh, uh, it's the win is the most important thing. Uh, you know, I need to set my rebounding, my rebounding up, and um, you know, tonight I was just getting the ball. So, I mean, there's no real secret to it, you know. And then last one, Coach, you guys held them to 34 percent from the field. How did you feel about the overall defensive effort, closeouts? What did you think? Fantastic. We just had trouble guarding Jacob Young off the bounce because he's so fast, he's so athletic, um, and Gurrier is is as well. But Gurrier is a very physical driver, and you know we really talked about getting our hands and our arms out on the drives. So the officials, a lot of times, if they see your hands, they won't make the call. But if your hands are in here. You know where they can't see him. Gurrier is really good at uh, drawing contact. You know on his on his uh, drives and got to the foul line. Uh, Jacob Young is really good at getting downhill, and we really tried to gap up and and have it be a team thing, not just an individual thing on him. But uh, good player. I mean, he's he's a good player. So defensively, I thought we were terrific, other than just guarding the ball kind of mano on mano at times, and uh, a couple times they. You know, they got three left-handed guys. They have four when Will Richardson plays, but they only had three tonight. And we got to know who's left-handed and who's right-handed. And you know, you live with Devian Harmon going right and making a floater in the lane. You live, but you don't live with Jacob Young going left and getting it to the rim. So, but overall, you know, I'm never gonna. It's we're never gonna be perfect. I'm always gonna have something to nitpick these guys about. But figured out a way to win. That's that's the biggest thing. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you.